Okay, in this video uh, I'm going to show you how to acquire an Android device. Um, there's many ways, or the, you know, due to the way Androids operate and the amount of the Android devices out there, that there's a few options you can take to acquire an Android. This video just gives um, a basic overview of the options available in acquiring an Android phone. So if I load up Process and then uh, for this case I'm just going to call it Android, go to Evidence Sources and then put some mobile an Android device. We're going to go mobile and select Android. Again if you've used another tool to uh, make the acquisition you can load it in here but in this uh, example we're going to use Axiom to acquire the evidence or make the acquisition so if I click on that and then there's two options here uh, when it comes to an, uh, Androids you've got the ADB which is a, essentially an Android backup or you've got the recovery uh, option uh, I'll first go into the ADB method so it's asking for me to select a device uh, I'm just connecting the Android phone now which is a uh, Samsung Galaxy S6 Again, similar to the iPhone, um, you need to make sure that you've got the current uh, device drivers installed. And the, the other thing to mention is to just make sure your USB drivers are working correctly as well, uh, as this can cause issues where you connect the phone but uh, it doesn't show up. So you just need to make sure you've got the uh, correct or, or your USB drivers are working correctly and the correct drivers for the um, device which, which can be uh, Samsung do a bundle, uh, Android do a generic uh, bundle so just make sure you've got them installed uh, first. Sometimes when you connect an Android device to the computer they will, they will self install but on some occasions they don't and you may have to uh, manually go and get the drivers. So uh, I've connected to my Android device and it's seen here um, the other thing that you uh, need to do on the Android device is enable USB debugging. Now that there's many ways you can do that and there's uh, tons of videos out there certainly on YouTube showing you how to enable USB debugging um, as there's some other steps that you need to do as well. So on this Android device I've enabled uh, USB debugging and I've, I've done the various other options and, and because I've done that now it's ready uh, for acquisition. You'll notice here that it comes up with image type and it's come up with full contents of the device or quick. Um, because of the make and model of Android device and I've got privileged access to it, um, it will enable me to do a full. So um, I can do that add to case. If I show you the other method which is the Android recovery so if I go back to mobile Android acquire recovery now uh, this is a bit more intrusive and there, there are thing, a few things to consider if doing this option. This essentially puts a recovery partition onto the device. So this is in instances where um, it's password protected and you don't know the password in order to get in and uh, enable USB debugging. This method allows you to bypass that by putting a, um, a, a custom recovery image so that it gives you full access to the device to allow a full extraction. Now uh, there's a few other steps that you need to do in order to allow this is that you'll notice there's a download now option. If you click on that it will take to our website where you can download the uh, current um, recovery images. So it's about a 5 gigabyte, um, oh, sorry 4.2 gigabyte zip file as you'll see here and then uh, once you've unzipped it you will get a folder like this. If you go in there there's four files in there and then you just double click on the XE which basically installs all the images to the Axiom uh, folder. Just take a while but once you've done it, it it's done then. And then 
I'll just show you here. So in Axiom Process, there's a folder called Recovery Images, and this is where all the specific make and model of recovery images are. Now, like I said, you have to be careful because it asks. The, there's not just a, uh, a generic recovery image. Uh, every recovery image is specific for that make and model, so you need to make sure that you uh, have or select the correct. Uh, recovery image. So this one I've got connected at the minute is uh, an SM-G925F and this is supported so the failing the uh, other ADB extraction methods I could attempt a recovery image method but I would do the quick and full extraction methods first in the ADB backup before going down this route. Um, the other thing to consider as well is that some carriers uh, lock the phone or lock the uh, recovery image, uh, which seems to be more common in North America with uh, the AT and Verizon uh, cell providers. They they lock the um, recovery image so that you can't do this process. Not so much of a problem in Europe and. Uh, uh, other areas of the world it just seems to be a common issue in North America so you do need to check that your make and model of phone is not locked to that carrier if you do attempt to do that or you select the wrong custom image um, you risk the um, chance of bricking your phone which will render the phone useless so uh, please make sure that one, you try and do a quick and full extraction first. If all else fails, try this method, but please make sure that you know that your specific make and model of phone is um, selected or supported before you do this. And then once you've uh, done this, um, it'll take you through the various steps and then you can then go on to select your mobile artifacts as per normal. Um, process and uh, to review the results in examine.